Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have with us financial professional Bill Andrews, and we'll be talking about annuities. Bill, welcome to the program. Good morning, Mike. How are you doing today? Hey, doing really good. So I know that you have been in the business for over 40 years, so you probably have all kinds of stories to tell about annuities. I know there's a lot of misconceptions surrounding uh, annuities, and they've changed and improved over the years. But before we get into some of those details, give us a, a definition. What exactly is an annuity? Well, uh, specifically, an annuity is a sum of payments uh, guaranteed for a certain period of time. Um, that's that's typically what most people think of when they're thinking of an annuity, and they call that an immediate annuity. Uh, but more, more specifically, what most people are using annuities for today are deferred annuities where they're placing a lump sum or a series of payments into an account and growing it in order to generate an income at a later period in their life. Um, so those are the two primary categories. Yeah, that's, um, you know, when I hear the word like guarantee and contract, that's really comforting to someone who is looking for, you know, a very little volatility, right? Absolutely, especially with all the uncertainty and volatility out there now. Yeah, I think that's that's a that's a big piece that people just don't pick up on, which is um, you can put your money in the market per se, but at a certain age, you need to start shifting gears and thinking, you know, I don't have enough runway before retirement for, you know, the volatility to kind of weather and recoup and stuff like that. So talk a little bit about some of the benefits of, you know, having that safe, you know, secure returns for people to invest in annuity. Okay. Well, a lot of people ask me today, what, you know, why would you even recommend an annuity? It seems like they've been taught the only thing available to them is Wall Street, uh, mutual funds, things of that nature. Um, so why would anyone want an annuity? Well, it's the most versatile retirement funding vehicle out there. Um, people are looking and achieving safety, liquidity, tax benefits, competitive rates of return. Uh, they get probate avoidance. Uh, simplicity yeah. is a huge thing uh, for people nowadays. They're, they're, they've been used to accumulating money, and now they maybe need to start protecting it instead of growing it. And, it's, and that ha that's happening at a time where everything is, is getting risky and volatile. And uh, then you have exchangeability, income you can't outlive. Uh, but most of all, if I were to sum it all up, it's peace of mind is what people are looking for when they uh, invest into an annuity. You know, that's huge. And we mentioned the word volatility and the word volatility and peace of mind typically do not go together because they don't. Right. right. Volatility is uncertainty. And you watch the news and you look at the stock market and the, it dips up and goes down and all around. And you're just going, let me calculate my portfolio. And it dropped and it dropped. So having that peace of mind is really a huge piece. And again, at a certain age, um, in advance of retirement, you got to make that shift into preserving the wealth that you've been working so hard to build. So um, talk a little bit about some of the ways that annuities provides that security. Like as an example, um, can annuities ever lose money? Well, that's, that's a big thing. Um, a lot of people are trying, are out there right now looking for um, the safest places to put their money. Um, people have come into a uh, new wealth. They've sold businesses. They've uh, they've retired and they've got a large 401k plan. Um, inheritances are are large nowadays. So what they're looking for is a place that they can they can stick their money and it's not going to uh, they're not going to have to worry about losing it. So what are they thinking of? Generally, their options are I can put it into I can put it into um, the bank. Um, get mm -hmm. some FDIC protection, or I. The other option they have really is just Wall Street. 
or uh, bonds or stocks, mutual funds, that sort of thing. Um, the, they never really think that much of the life insurance industry where, where the uh, annuities are born. Um, but the life insurance industry is propped up by five basic uh, pillars, if you will. Um, the first one is uh, re legal reserve. It's the only industry that operates on a legal reserve system where they're required to maintain specific reserves. The second one is state guarantee funds. Third is reinsurance, uh, spreading of risk. So um, when they offer guarantees, the reinsurance industry will come in and and uh, and help to spread that risk out. Then your insurance companies make uh, extensive use of holding companies to protect their to protect their companies and their and their uh, um, uh, assets, and also holding companies act as a great source of capital. Um, you know when things mm -hmm. might get a little tight, like at point a point where we are right now. And then of course there's the risk based uh, capital ratio rating system, and it's that's how insurance companies are required to invest their portfolios. And they're also monitored on a national level by the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. So it's, uh, it's a very um, monitored and regulated industry. Every state insurance commissioner will regulate the company um, that that company happens to do business in. That kind of makes people feel an extra layer of protection. If you say that these are stable, guaranteed, no volatility, can't lose money, and then you've got all these layers and levels of protection, that really uh, puts the icing on the cake and the cherry on top, in my opinion. So I think that is really great to outline there, Bill. Um, you know, when when I think about in my own situation, if I were to make a financial move like that, and then what if something changes in two, three, five years? Are there some options where you can now go, oh, I need to do something different with my annuity or you know, pull some out or not? What are some of those flexibilities so that people don't feel like I've made this decision and I'm stuck with it for a couple of decades? Well, the important thing is, is it's a contract. So when you enter into it with the insurance company, you already know in advance what all your guarantees are and what your accessibility to funds are. Um, you know, for instance, most of them allow you to withdraw 10% out of the account after the first year. And there are some variations on that among the different types of contracts. So when, a, when we speak with a client about uh, what they're looking for, uh, how they might see themselves using or needing that money in the near future, then we'll design the portfolio, including annuities, if, if they fit. For, for that person, for that person's needs, not just now, but in the future. Mm -hmm. it, what about um, taxes? And I know that we're not CPAs and we can't give tax advice, but I think that a lot of times people need to realize is an annuity a taxable product or is there some, some ways to think about that? Mm -hmm. Pretty much the tax benefits of an annuity are your, your growth is tax deferred. And also if you're using uh, um, qualified money such as IRAs into this account, your, the money that you're putting in there still maintains its tax deferred status. But that's the big thing with uh, annuities is, that, that is the tax deferability. Now, at some point, uh, most of my clients today are are eyeing the idea that they're going to be drawing a guaranteed income out of these accounts, and then in the future, um, when when they may need to supplement their pensions or Social Security or whatnot. Mm. So when that when that happens, you can start taking an income that could be partially or fully, depending on whether it's a Roth has the Roth feature on it or not. But they're able to take that money out on a partially tax favored basis because if they use non-qualified money, which is just basically money you've already paid taxes on before they invested, mm -hmm. they're able to take that portion out in their monthly or annual payments tax-free. So mm. they can set themselves up for a tax-free income. And they also, there's, there's other things available uh, like uh, QLACs, which are uh, a feature 
where you're, once you hit 72, 73, you're allowed to defer, avoid required minimum distributions and defer your hmm. income on, on that portion to later in life. And then, of course, you've got Roth conversions. You can move um, uh, IRA money and pay taxes on it currently if you think taxes are going to be higher in the future, which a lot of people are thinking nowadays. So that money, um, you pay the taxes on today, put it into a Roth conversion, and now that money will never be taxable to anybody once you get down the road. Lots of flexibility. Yeah. You know, I maybe I read this somewhere, but um, let's go a little bit deeper and clarify this. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the conversation, annuities have been around forever and and they've been you know mis- misunderstood for a lot of years. But then lately in the last 10 years or so, they've gotten a lot better and uh, more beneficial. But something tells me that there's some ways that you can access annuity funds for things you need um, like long-term care uh, plans, something like that. Is that a... a feature and a benefit in some annuities these days? Actually, I'm, I'm going to say in most annuities that that feature is just becoming more common and you're not even, they're yeah. not even um, charging rider fees or anything wow. like that. It's just, it's just trying to make uh, it common sense accessibility to a client's money in the event of a hardship, such as nursing homes or uh, even death, you know, and, and death, it, you know, and any any fees or penalties or whatever that might exist on these contracts. And I'm not saying not every contract has fees or penalties. There are some out there that um, have none of those. Again, these are things we are going to look at for each client. Yeah, that's neat to hear that it's kind of like commonplace now because I know um, you know, some, and, and everybody is different. Every situation is different, but I heard the example once where if you have a, you know, like a automobile policy and you're paying all your premiums throughout the year and you didn't have an accident, so you didn't need to make a claim. So can you go back to your policy holder and say, please give me my premiums back? Of course not. Well, the same way with um, a long-term care policy, as an example, if you don't need the long-term care, you, you've lost out on the premiums. But if a long-term care feature is part of an annuity and you didn't use the long-term care feature, well, your money still is in your annuity. So you still have that as a benefit. So um, I, I like, I'm glad to hear that it's now a common feature and there's no rider fees and additions. And and I know that there's all kinds of, of variations of annuities and that's what we've kind of touched on here today. Um, and everybody's situation is different. Should every single person take every dime they have and put it in an annuity? Of course not. But it's it's uh, these days a lot of benefit, and it takes into consideration what is your specific need. So, what are some some kind of concluding and wrap up thoughts on on how people should view and potentially consider annuities? Well, if you're looking for safety and or income guarantees, I think the first thing you have to do is put the annuity on your list of things to investigate Um, because it's the only vehicle out there that's going to guarantee against longevity, um, Mm. living too long. In other words, Um, you don't find that on wall street. They can't guarantee that anything is going to protect them or give them an income for the rest of their life. Uh, Safety. They have, well, the guarantee against safety return of principal or, um, uh, Excuse me. So it's just well, it's the safety and the income guarantees is what you're is what you're looking at. Yeah, and I think that, um, like I said, it's not a cookie cutter template solution for every single person. You sit down with them and you assess what that client needs, and you present um, these options to consider. So I think that's that's a big piece that people just don't realize is when they hear about a product like an annuity is a product, but it's just a piece of the plan of the retirement wealth building plan. When they hear of a product, they feel like, you know, let me just assess and see if this fits into my plan. So I think that just lays it out so clearly, Bill. Thank you so much for coming on. What's uh, the best way that someone uh, that's interested in learning a little bit more about annuities can reach out and connect with you? Maybe best. They just, uh, you call my cell phone. I like talking to people. Uh, Phone number is 
803-483-4833. Excellent. Well, Bill, thank you so much for coming on today. It's been a real pleasure talking with you. Thanks a lot, Mike. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.